Hi. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Server Tips. I am Michael Alexander. I'm Martin. Well, we got a lot of feedback from all of you uh, viewers. Um, people have been sending us emails, tweeting at us. Personal cell phone calls at 3 in the morning. Yeah. Um, and it's all about one subject and one subject alone. Wine. That's right. You know, we got a lot of positive feedback saying like, wow, you taught us so much about how to approach our guests, how to really maintain dominance throughout an entire meal. Uh, but one thing always comes up right away, people want something to drink with their food. Yeah, first thing you ask, what can I get you to drink? Exactly, and wine service in particular can be a very daunting subject. Yeah, when I was starting out as a server, I knew nothing about wine, I was overwhelmed. And obviously you would be. Wine has a 8,000 year old history. Mm -hmm. Wine has been a part of human civilization since before we even had written word. Yeah. In fact, there is an 8,000 year old vase found in Georgia with wine in it. Jo with Georgia down south? I didn't read the whole article that it, okay. it may be there, but I, I was it, it was made of peaches? Because then it would be. Maybe. They do make wine from all sorts of different fruits. So why grapes then? Well, um, legend has it that there was a crazy friend that would just eat anything that yeah. you dared him to eat. Back when I used to play basketball in high school, we'd go on tournaments and we'd do this thing where we made a little cocktail out of everything that we could find in a diner, and we'd always make somebody drink that. And that one guy is always willing to do it. And that's that's how wine started? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah. I mean, probably what was, there was like a... Like a, grapes or fruit or something fell and rotted, and yeah. someone was like, I bet you won't eat that. Or yeah, like that. a dude ate it, got drunk, and here we are now. Rotten grapes. But oh, it's warm. So, where to begin with wine? How about selecting a bottle? Right, so when you're selecting a bottle, you can't smell it or taste it yet. The only sense you have, your eyes. Yeah, first how it's written on the menu. Lots mm -hmm. of times you'll see menus go in price order, which is a very easy way to decide. You just That's the amateur your, way to do it. Off of your income level. Another way to go is to ask the server mm -hmm. uh, to bring over several bottles of wine within a wide variety of the price range. Yeah. And then choose by label, which is very common and very totally common. acceptable. I, I usually encourage guests to do it. Guests are like, can I, what do you know about this wine? Like, I'm gonna bring you this bottle, I'm gonna bring you 10 other bottles. Yeah. And I bring out a cart, and I, and I point to them all the labels and I say, which one looks the best to you? Gut, gut instinct, which one looks best? Because our gut instinct is usually right about these things, about aesthetics. It's the blink theory. Yeah, Malcolm Gladwell, great podcast. Great. Also great wine connoisseur. He, and I, remember we went to North Fork with him? That was it's, so We got wild. We got wild. We got wild. That guy can party. He also really doesn't like pants. <laughs> um, all right, so here we have a few. This one has a seal, not a not a There's no aquatic. On here. No, no, not aquatic seal, like a seal, like a um, like a stamp family seal. Yeah, it has a little award printed in the corner, like a Pulitzer Prize novel. It looks like a man or woman. I can't tell because they. It looks like it has some sort of breasts, um, either male pecs or female breasts, and it has like Are a they toga. Square Kind of squarish. Some, it's probably a man. A man holding a glass, and there's something oh, like toga. It, it has belly hair. Oh yeah, and there's his penis. Okay, so you know that's won an award, right off the bat. And it has fancy cursive. Cursive? Cursive. And not English. Yeah. No one likes things written in English. Even if you're a really great American vineyard, you're going to try to look like you wrote it in a different way. You'll say vino or um, uh, pino something. Like so, pinot noir yeah. instead of black, black pinot. Black um, pinot. Um, so also this, this one, one looks like a child did it or an adult on an acid trip and while you want to evoke the idea of a fun fantastical kind of ride that he'll go on with yeah. the bottle, this one's a little extreme, I would not buy this bottle. Yeah, I would not buy this bottle, but it looks like it could fuck you up. We didn't talk about this, shapes of bottles. Shapes Look how bottles. elegant this one is. Do you see this? There's no... It looks like it could go really fast. Yes. Also... Very aerodynamic. Also, if you wanted to use this for something else after you buy the wine, like a base for a single bud. Or to put in your butt. I like the color, yellow, yellow and green. It evokes nature, it evokes wine. Um, also it's a pretty painting of a vineyard so you know it came from a vineyard. No, this is a true fact, but 75% of wine 
um, in stores, grocery marts. I, in New York, you can't sell in a grocery stores, but wine stores, it's actually made in a factory, not in a vineyard. So you want to make sure you're getting vineyard wine. Vineyard wine is the best. Yeah. And then this one looks like the Wild West, and I'm not sure what they were trying to evoke with that one. It disturbs me in a way that I don't understand. It's like um, I feel like if I were to drink this, I would get involved in a in a gunfight in like Nevada or New Mexico. So so Michael, based off now, close your eyes mm -hmm. and then look at these balls. And which one would you pick? Just forget what you saw. Based <coughs> off these these labels, just clear your mind. Obviously, this one. there we go. See see that? That's what I like to tell uh, my guests to do. And Coincidentally, this is the most expensive wine that we have in the entire industry. It happens sometimes. Sometimes you'll pick the least expensive. Uh, I feel sorry for you if you do. Oh, oh no, we're not. We're not brothers.